Hello, this is Mike Weber from the European TCM Laser Academy and today I'd like to share with you some ideas about laser acupuncture in allergic diseases, especially focusing on the atopic eczema. Well, just a few words to myself. I'm a Western trained medical doctor. From the very beginning of my clinical career, I found out that in the chronic disease, the Western medicine is somehow blinded on one eye. So I started to look into Chinese medicine and I started to look in real cellular physiology. And these are still my main pillars for medical treatments, beside, of course, thinking about the psychosomatic aspects that are very important in allergic diseases, especially in atopic eczema and asthma-like diseases. For a couple of years, I've been medical director of the famous Rottenberg Congress, the biggest congress for Chinese medicine out of uh, Asia. Every year in May, uh, we gather there, and I hope to see some of you there one day, uh, and we'll have uh, lectures about laser, on laser acupuncture on a regular way. Well, um, talking about um, laser means talking about different tools to approach this form of disease. First of all, we talking today about uh, Chinese medicine, so we talk about laser acupuncture, uh, the replacement of the traditional metal needle by a pain-free method by the light needle. But it's not only that it's a pain-free method for the patients, uh, a lot of the benefits from the laser come from the biostimulatory effects of the laser. We will see the laser enhances migrant marker circulation, has anti-inflammatory effects, enhances the repair mechanisms in the tissue. So talking about atopic eczema, laser has many beneficial tools on its own. And what's distinguished the laser acupuncture very much from the traditional metal needle acupuncture, we have a different tool in addition we usually don't use the laser on a CW mode, on a continuous wave beam, but with certain on and off mechanisms, and this is what we call resonance therapy. Well, every yang needs a yin. Yang and yin have to be balanced. Therefore, it's important to have the substrates for the laser light to absorb the photons. So, in the chronic disease, I like to combine the power of Chinese medicine, the couple of thousands of years of history, the treasures of Chinese medicine, with ideas of modern trace elements, mitochondrial medicine, and quite often, of course, with Chinese herbal medicine. So uh, the yang of the laser uh, meets the yin uh, of our cells or the yin of our uh, diet. Well, this is my clinic in uh, Germany. And uh, on the other slide, you see uh, the Rottenberg Congress. And actually, uh, there is a lecture together with Julian Scott, who visited me. Uh, and we worked in my laser clinic for a week together. Um, and there we gave a lecture on uh, chronic bronchitis and asthma. So even uh, people who have been using metal needle acupuncture for decades start to switch over to realize about the power of laser acupuncture. Talking about laser acupuncture means talking about the treasures of nature. If we look onto the ocean, if we look into the sky, we see on a not cloudy day the sun. And the sun we can claim is the purest form of yang we know about. It's yang and yang, as we say. And on the bottom of the slide, you see the water. And the water is probably the purest form of yin. So when the sunset comes or the sun rises, it looks at if it's yan meets the yin. Well, the monade of Chinese medicine can be explained best by uh, the use of the light. Well, I hope after this lecture, you would be rather different to the Chinese dragon. Uh, you go different paths 
and you don't follow, follow one path in the future anymore, but you see a broad spectrum of different diseases, of different uh, approaches to target uh, eczema and other um, diseases.